Hey, Daryl, this is a story of inspiration. It's about hope. It's about healing. Four best friends, all four, beat breast cancer. And now they're encouraging each other and other women to get their mammograms, which could save lives. Fox 13 Siobhan Riley is live at Baptist Women's Hospital in East Memphis. That's where those friends, Siobhan, participated in the Susan G. Coleman drive through event for breast cancer survivors. Daryl, Baptist really prides itself on mobile units just like this. They take these units into the communities, communities like South Memphis, North Memphis, helping women get those mammograms. And for African-American women, the numbers are startling. A picture-perfect moment for four best friends who are now breast cancer survivors. I am a five-year breast cancer survivor. Embracing the spirit of Breast Cancer Awareness Month is special for these BFFs who say they feel blessed to be able to share their story of how they beat breast cancer. What does today mean to you guys to be standing here as four best friends? Another brick on the road to recovery. Hope is alive. Yeah. I, I just feel great and thankful. Because we do know many that did not make it this far. Even, you know, or by the time they got their diagnosis, you know, it was too far gone. The administrative director at Baptist Women's Health Care Center says in Memphis, African-American women are twice as likely to die from breast cancer compared to white women. We have um, a mobile mammography unit and we go into the areas that have the highest disparity when it comes to breast cancer mortality rates. Um, there's 14 zip codes in Shelby County that have the highest rates. That's why these women are urging others to get their mammograms. When I was diagnosed, I just said, I'm, not, I'm gonna go down fighting. I'm gonna do everything I can do. It does not have to be a death sentence. We can all say that you have a two month whatever sentence or and prognosis is two months and then you're here for 20 years. Mobile units like this served 170 patients. That's how many patients they were able to serve in communities last year. Also, the women you just heard from, this is one of the balloons that they took with them to today's event. It has words like believe and hope and faith, all words needed to beat breast cancer. Reporting live in Memphis, Siobhan Riley, Fox 13 News.